It is important to prepare some reagents of your multi bead kit before beginning the assay protocol. The first step is to dilute your wash buffer. As an example, add 450 mils of deionized water to 50 mils of your wash buffer concentrate. The wash buffer can be stored at room temperature for three months or until the kit's expiration date, whichever comes first. The second step is to prepare the antibody bead cocktail. To make a working stock, mix one part of the capture bead cocktail to 25 parts extracellular assay buffer one based on the total number of assays you will be running on the plate. For example, 50 total assays would require 1,250 microliters of working stock, as you'll be using 25 microliters per assay. To mix this capture bead cocktail, vigorously vortex the vial of capture beads and add 50 microliters of the solution to 1,200 microliters of extracellular assay buffer one. This bead working stock should be stored at four degrees Celsius and vortex before use. The cytokine antibody cocktail and acosinoid PE cocktails are prepared in very much the same way as your capture bead cocktail. They are also both supplied as a 25X concentrate. So to make a working stock, you will mix one part of the respective cocktail to 24 parts extracellular assay buffer. However, each of these two cocktails are used in different amounts. The cytokine antibody cocktail will be used at 100 microliters per assay, while the acosinoid PE cocktail will be used at 25 microliters per assay. Be sure to account for this difference as you make up your working stocks. Using the previous example of 50 total assays, 1,250 microliters of the acosinoid PE cocktail would need to be prepared, while 5,000 microliters of the cytokine antibody cocktail would need to be prepared. Both working stocks should be stored at four degrees and protected from light until they are to be used.